We've got J and J stock on the screen. It's up uh, just a fraction, 29 cents. Reportedly, they're going to roll out what up to 800 million virus vaccines by 2021, and they'll be producing it right here in the United States. That's ambitious. Joe Walk is with us. He's J and J's chief financial officer. Joe, 800 million viruses by next year. Can you test it? Can you prove it's efficient? Can you do it by next year? Good morning, Stuart. Thanks for your interest in Johnson & Johnson and having me on here today. Yeah, we're very confident in our ability to ramp up manufacturing. It's a platform that we've been working with for better than a decade now as we brought forth solutions for Ebola, Zika, uh, HIV. So we've got a great deal of comfort in terms of the, the scalability or the yields that we'll be able to produce. Uh, we're working. We announced a partnership last uh, week with uh, an outfit in Rockville, Maryland, uh, for U.S. based manufacturing, we're going to manufacture across the globe with the goal of getting to between 600 and 800 million vaccines produced on an annual run rate in the early part of next year, with the aspiration for about a billion vaccines on an annual run rate by the end of next year. Well, that's wonderful stuff and it's very ambitious, but can you tell me that there's a high probability that the vaccines will actually work? I think we're going right through uh, right now. We're testing in animals, making sure that there's a safety profile. Again, we've got a high degree of confidence in the safety profile, given the other platforms I mentioned. We'll be first in human testing in early September. Hopefully, we'll have very positive clinical readouts, and we'll know by very early next year, if not the end of this year, uh, in terms of the efficacy of the vaccine. You're going to. I know you're building a new plant in the United States. Is that plant going to be for the vaccines? Uh, we partnered with a company in Rockville, Maryland, Emergent Biosolutions. So we thought the most expedient way was to find uh, partners that met our high standards in terms of uh, the ability to produce this vaccine. And so we'll look for that partnership as well as other partnerships that we're very excited about. Joe Walk, CFO of Johnston Johnson, I want to thank you very much for coming on the show today. That's a, a brave and bold prediction, but we'll take it. Joe, thanks Great. for joining us, sir. We appreciate it. Thank you, it. Stuart. Yes, thank you.